So y'all tell me what's so bad about me deciding to cook a home cooked meal for my girl. No, no, no. everything She's is bad about that. Yes, I'm upset because it's our upset. second day. So what? I expected you to take me to the Capitol to grill. And we will go to the Capitol when? grill. Which, when? On I'm another day. Not, we went out last. Day. We no, went out last. Keep his word. I have more. Where should you take me out and do more? I'm keeping my word. No, you're you not haven't keeping even your word. You haven't. No, you're even, not. You don't even I'm know that yet. No, this. No, listen. You see this? This, I see it. This, it looks amazing. It looks amazing. It looks amazing. It looks black, brown, crusty, dusty. It musty, looks like you just want. I'm about to be on some real murder shit, eh? Something to complain about to me. It's not that I want something to complain about, but I expect you to stick by your word. I am sticking oh, by my word. Our, no, this is our second Exactly. Day, so how do you know? We're not going, girl, and we're not going. How do you know that, though? Because I'm here. What do you mean? I'm no, man, you need to stay off that crack, man. Get out. No, okay. Yeah. I appreciate you the effort of you cooking. Right. But I wanted to go out with you. I want to have And fun. we will, but I wanted okay. to cook for you. No. I want to show you that I want to show you versatility. Oh my, it's okay. easy for me I, to take you out. This is too no. Yes, it's no. easy for me to take you out. Okay, it's easy for you It takes a lot more that. thought to cook for somebody, right? That's all I I'm saying. I do not want this. You hear me? I don't want this. I expected more from you. And that's that. Like, come on. So you wait until I cook up this meal just for you to decide. That I you don't know you I told you we'll come in my house. What did you I'm think? That we're going to the Capitol to grill. And like, we will go there about? eventually. But tonight you're at David's house come on. eating my dinner. The, so that means what? You that do I cook not keep you. your word, right? I do that, keep my word. You do not keep your word. How do I? If I didn't keep my word, why would. If I didn't keep my word, how would I cook you? don't have it, just say you don't have it. I absolutely have it. Actually, tell me and have me expect maybe, okay, I don't have it at all. I'm mean, gonna cook some cute for her, she might like it. No, but you you had to come over here expecting we're going somewhere and we're not actually going. I don't like that. I don't. I can have to do more for me than what you want to be. No. Well, guess on. what? Guess what? No, You're with I, me right now, no, okay? I'm with you right you, now. Yes, exactly. we are on a date right now. Exactly. They didn't I'm make the cut right and now, I did. Right? I'm with you right they now. They must have not did something right. To me. I never, I didn't lie to you about anything. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You told me we were going to the Capitol Grill. Are and we will go to the Capitol Grill. But I decided to cook for you this time. I need you to stick by your word. You I, and I no, do. You're not. I always no, stick by not. my word. No, you're not. No, no, you are not. You were just over here complaining. You haven't even had one bite of this food. I don't want to have you haven't even You haven't even I taken one bite out of it. I expected to have Wow. I expected more. You shouldn't be what? expecting stuff so early on. I, you shouldn't be lying to me so early on. I, don't, I, didn't, lie, I didn't lie to you. You shouldn't be lying to me so early on. I didn't lie about anything. I'm here for a reason. Right? This is the second day. I'm here for a reason, right? I'm you, here for a reason, yeah, right? Because okay, you so want to be here. To go to the Capitol, the grill. Okay, I want to wow. go out. I want to stay in. Okay, you should have told me that. You should communicate. I communicated I mean, like with you. Like men too. Like these y'all exactly. don't communicate. Y'all want to say that y'all have so much y'all don't. I can really like, pull up and take you where I need to go. For well, that, why don't you? It's an evil world we live in. You're, You're ungrateful. False. You're false. You probably just forget it. Just, okay. you know what, yeah, just forget it. Just okay. give me my food back. Uh, you? Yeah, give me my food Here. back. I will Here cook it for food. another woman. That she will be appreciative. Because, you know what, you ain't the woman for me. All right, I'm going to have to go right Yeah, now. yeah, you yeah. do that, you do okay. that. Fellas, let me tell y'all something. This is the worst type of woman to seriously date, man. She is ungrateful, and she don't believe in reciprocation. I promise you that, man. If this is how it start, it's going to end so horrible for you, man. she probably take you for everything you got, especially if you put a ring on it, bro. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. If this is a prank, it doesn't matter because this happens in real life. There are plenty of ungrateful women. I just did a video the other day about a woman who was like, nah, we ain't going to no Olive Garden. We're going to where I want to go. And the man actually brought her, but he finessed her. But it is what it is. But what I'm saying is, guys, the key words, gratitude and reciprocation. Another one I want to throw in is you date a woman who ain't no spender. She more values. She values saving money. That type of woman can take you far, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be one of these guys that tell y'all that some of y'all don't need women. <laughs> a lot of y'all do. I'm not going to hold you because some of y'all need that motivation that a woman can bring. Some men like myself, I'm going to do it regardless. I do what needs to be done even when I don't want to do it. I'm built like that. But every man is not. And that's okay. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. If you become a millionaire because a woman motivated, inspired you to become a millionaire, isn't that better than somebody who's still only making 25 k a year? I don't care what none of these other people say. If you become a millionaire because your girl put something in you, then that's hmm, pause. But y'all get where I'm going with this. Fellas, do not date women like this, bro. For real, for real. This is to all of my sad girls who are sad because their man left them for another woman. I'm going to tell you something. My ex left his ex for me. 
And I had heard, heard rumors that he wasn't treating her good. He cheated on her with her own aunt. He cheated on her several times. He had rageful issues, anger issues with her. And I didn't care. I wanted, I wanted him, right? And here I am thinking he's going to treat me any better. He jumps into the relationship with me. And he treats me worse. I got my karma. This is why you never take another woman's man. I got my karma. He treated me like crap. He cheated on me. He had rageful issues, anger issues. He even called the cops on me, ladies. And so what I'm trying to say is that my therapist gave me wise words of advice. She said, when a man doesn't want to fix what's currently going on in his current relationship, he will carry his baggage into another relationship. And he will face the same issues. So pretty much if you don't face the current issues or fix the current issues in your current relationship, you will face them in the next relationship. You know, this is something I used to tell my homeboys when we was in our early, like, teenage years and almost 20s, right? Because a lot of these dudes just could not stop smashing other dudes' girls. And then the sad part is they would actually fall in love with the girl that they stole and think something fruitful was going to come from it, right? And I was always the common sense type of dude. I said, say, bro, she did that to Buddy. You know she going to do it to you. And let's not pretend like I ain't seen her looking at me the other day. Nah, she wasn't looking at you, bro. Nigga, I'm telling you, I'm your dog. Your girl was looking at me, man. I could probably smash her. Nah, you couldn't. Nah, you couldn't. Okay. Okay, whatever. Bro, I'm telling you what I know. It's not going to end well for you. And every time, it never ended well for these dudes. And the women, it happens to them too, right? This goes both ways, man. You don't deal with nobody that's dealing with somebody. They already showing you what's going to happen if something that they don't like is taking place in a relationship or if they feel like some of their needs is not getting met it happens all the time no one fights harder than a deadbeat baby daddy who's trying to fight for his kids when he's never fought for them before only to impress his new girlfriend or new wife and then try to claim that the mother of his kids are bitter i ain't gonna lie bro i met a couple cats that do that and that's some real bitch assness right there, bro. You're supposed to take care of your kids, especially after you found out they are truly your kids. Because, you know, I think they said, what, 40% of these kids don't even belong to the dad or something. Something wild and outlandish, right? But here's the thing. If them your kids, bro, you have a moral and ethical obligation to those kids, man. I don't even care if you hate the baby mama. You still have a moral obligation to those kids some of y'all say my sper my sper <laughs> what some of y'all be like my sperm my choice i didn't consent to her having it all right <laughs> that's how you feel bro but just know you're gonna burn a lot of bridges like that because men like me don't even respect men who don't take care of their kids bro and i'm somebody that can help you in life you might need a phone call you might need me to network with you might need me to do something and if i know you don't take care of your kids nigga i know you ain't gonna take care of me when it comes time to Stop calling men insecure for having standards. Stop calling men insecure for having boundaries. It's like y'all use the word insecure as some type of coping mechanism for men who actually care about the type of woman that they pursue a relationship with. Oh, you don't want me wearing this? You're so insecure. Oh, you don't want me going out late with my friends to the club at night? You're so insecure within yourself. Sis, that's not insecurity. That's love and protection. That man knows how visual men are. Why would he want his woman to be a target to other men? Why would he want your private area, something that only his eyes are supposed to see on display for the whole world? to see see the problem is you want the freedom of acting single all while still being in a relationship with someone you want all the benefits but expect him to just do everything that you say and just roll with it you expect him to defend you you expect him to protect and provide for you but when he does it in a way that's not how you want it's a problem if he didn't love you he wouldn't set up boundaries for you sis if he let you go out and do what you want to do wear what you want to wear staying up late all hours of night he wouldn't give a damn about you knowing very well the dangers that are out there the only woman insecure is the woman who can't take direction from her significant other because deep down she knows that she still seeks the world's validation over her own significant other Ooh, we the common sense is strong in this one everything she just touched on was facts man ain't nobody insecure because they don't want you going to the club where they got the men that trying to smash you that's all they want bro as soon as you see a girl in a tight dress and y'all drinking man the first thing go to your mind is i won't hit that not if she is somebody who will of good morals and character nobody cares about that stuff i wonder what her hobbies and interests are niggas is not thinking about that when they see a girl in the club bro they thinking about down i wonder what it look like with her legs in the air what that arch look like these niggas is freaks and they trying to hit your girl so why would you put your girl in that situation why would she put you in that situation she don't care about you if she always got to be in the club or going to lounges bars and stuff like that bro that's some real stuff all right, fellas, at the time of this recording, I need 3,640 more subscribers to get to that 
elusive 100k subs, right? I hate getting on here asking y'all to subscribe. If y'all noticed, I just started asking y'all to hit the subscribe button maybe a week and a half, two weeks ago because I hit 90k and I'm like, all right, cool, we almost there. Let's do that. But boom, man, hit that subscribe button for your boy. After we hit 100, I ain't even gonna ask y'all no more, man. Y'all know what it is. You get what I'm saying? But some of y'all... Honestly, be forgetting the sub. I read the comments, man. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, I didn't even know I wasn't sub, bro. My bad. Boom. Subscribe. I fuck with that. But anyway, man, I hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. I'm going to keep on dropping these videos. You understand what I'm talking about, little brother? Holla at your boy, man. Y'all have a good one. Break a bitch down just like a swisher. Lot of niggas think they solid, but they switched up. Remember me and all my partners used to hit the flipper. Remember old girl used to live by the river. Used to take a lot of dick, she ain't never give up. So it just the other day she was with a nigga. He the stepdaddy, yeah that nigga really in love. And I wonder if he know that she was for the streets. What would he do if he found out that she had for the team? But I cannot expose her, cause ain't nothing me. And I ain't saving no one, and I can't judge a thing. He think he found a queen, probably.